everyone and welcome back to Techno Ivo. Today we're going to be taking a look at Power World and whether it runs on the Steam Deck because Power World right now has taken the world by absolute storm and it's broken records on Steam for the most concurrent players or taken second place. Sorry, it hasn't broken top place yet, but second place is still extremely unbelievable for a game like this and of course that's garnered a lot of attention from nintendo and it's one of those games that i think is pretty decent and should be played anyway so we're testing it on the steam deck to see if it can actually run and for the sake of transparency i am running my steam deck just over there on the left hand side on my desk which is then running via hdmi into my elgato capture card which hopefully you can see underneath my sound card there in my gaming rig that is then running into OBS where I am capturing my gameplay and then also on my right hand monitor here I am previewing that window so I can see what I'm looking at at the same time. I am using a games controller for this game even though it is not completely compatible with games controllers um, which we'll go through in a moment. But, um, but yeah, you need on-screen keyboard stuff. But that is the setup I am using to capture this video. So jumping over to the Steam Deck, I am gonna go across to my settings very quickly, go down to manage, nope, go down to properties and go down to compatibility, force the game to use Proton Experimental because that seems to work the best for me um, for most of the things that I am testing. Just to give you an idea as well, going down to the game info, you can see the Steam Deck compatibility says playable, but if you go into the details, uh, some functionality is not accessible when using the default controller configuration requiring the use of the touchscreen or the virtual keyboard. So it has come up to say to enter text in this game, you'll need to open the on-screen keyboard manually. And I'm just going to accept that. Or it says on the right-hand side, open the on-screen keyboard by clicking the uh, Xbox button on my controller and the X key, which is of course, as you know, the one on the left. So now we have made it to the main menu. The first thing I want to do is just jump into the options menu to show you the graphical preset that Power World give you on the Steam Deck. And as you can see, the preset is set to low which gives you a full screen a resolution of 1280 by 720 of course you can't help that uh, because you're locked onto on the steam deck i have turned v-sync and motion blur off anti-aliasing is set to tsr everything else is set to a medium preset now there is a couple of things that you can do to improve your frame rate limit and that is to drop the anti-aliasing down to FXAA, or if you wanted to, to TAA. Uh, FXAA is, is pretty decent, that's fine. Uh, and then view distance, you don't really need view distance in this game. And to because it is such a large game anyway, having a higher view distance means, of course, more performance is needed. If you did jump into the um, performance menu onto, on the Steam Deck itself, um, you could put the scaling filter on if you wanted to. I haven't, but if you wanted again to improve that FPS, you can do. What I have also done is also disabled the frame limit um, inside the performance menu just to get as much FPS as possible. Not that you really need it. You're not hitting 120 FPS in this game anyway. You're not even gonna be hitting 60 to be honest with you. So we have just jumped into the game and as you can see, we are running at around between 30 and 35 FPS, uh, mostly between 30 and 33 to be honest with you with a few dips that I have noticed under 30 late 20s that kind of thing 28 29 27 um that you can you can experience with these graphics settings but for the most part the graphic settings that we saw before jumping into the game really i, I would say personally going to give you the best experience in terms of graphically as you can see there down to 28 but everything at this kind of frame rate is running really really smooth and even playing with the controller moving around and moving the camera around it's nice and smooth again drop down there to 29. there is a couple of things that you could do to push the graphics even further if you wanted to squeeze as much performance out of this game as possible um i haven't put a max fps limit inside of the game either because what's the point you could lock it at 30 actually to give you that solid smoother uh, frame rate but you don't have to if you wanted to try and push it further shadows is a big one you can set that to low just to claw back a bit more fps from your game 
but you are then losing a lot of detail for not a huge improvement as you can see in base now we are hitting sort of 30s late 30s 39 40s then so you could do that to your game if you wanted to to really push that graphical um like performance as much as possible or that fps limit as much as possible um but again it just now looks if you have a look at that scene in front of you it just looks extremely flat whereas if i put the quality of the shadows up to medium apply those changes it gives uh, your game a lot more a lot more character that fps it will increase again it is sitting at 29 27 at the moment it will increase back up to the, the low 30s that is something that you could do to really push that frame frame rate limit as much as possible the other thing you could potentially do is turn down your effects quality to low and maybe even texture um, but if you turn down your effects quality to low again you're not getting much of an improvement up to 34 but then down to 28 again once things in the distance start having to load in the closer i get to them 35 there being closer to that one texture 32 33 so it's not making a difference having that set on low so why why would you when you can have a nicer looking game and then with the textures lowering that down to low again oh it hit 34 then 32 31 32 you're not again going to be having a huge increase in frames per second there uh, purely because it's not doing a great deal to to the game at this point being at such low settings and a lower resolution as well having everything except that view distance set on medium is probably whoops the best way to go with the graphics on this game so get that back to medium view distance on low and then again the anti-aliasing on fxaa i haven't gone really above that and to be honest with you i'm perfectly happy with the way this game has been performing at these graphics settings it's not been really too bad at all considering this game the game map and everything i'm assuming the game has to load is actually uh pretty pretty major and again even in combat yes the frame rate has dipped a bit which is really to be expected oh my weapon is damaged my armor's damaged everything's damaged <laughs> there you go i'll hit you with my axe instead and i'll no i didn't want to bring you out i wanted to capture the penguins there you go it's the right mouse to capture penguins are you gonna capture yeah you're gonna capture that's fine from what i've seen and what i've played so far in the 10 12 hours that i've put into this game it's been running pretty decent at the graphic settings that we have landed on so off camera i've been doing a bit of experimenting on how i could improve that fps to get it a little bit higher than what i was achieving with being between sort of 30 and 40 fps and i've got some kind of solution but to me it isn't the best solution but i'll show you what it is Going into my graphics settings, just to show you where I am at with my graphics now. I'm on a custom preset still. I'm at a windowed screen mode. I'm down to a smaller resolution being 854 by 480, 854 by 480. Everything else is pretty much the same, being low on the view distance and then every other detail is on medium. Now, what I have done to get around the lack of resolution is if i now go into my steam performance menu scroll down all the way to scaling mode stick that on stretch and have the scaling filter on fsr it produces this sharpness up to five because if i didn't turn on that scaling filter you'll notice that the text especially where it says chickpea in the distance awful so if you stick that on FSR uh, with an FSR sharpness of five, kind of brings back the detail, not a huge amount, but when you are now running around the world, we are more consistently hitting that late 30s, early 40s FPS mark. There is a bit of a trade-off there in terms of sharpness 
because you are having to rely so much on the FSR built into the Steam Deck. At the same time, if you are someone who wants to push that, that graphical almost power to the maximum to get the best FPS, then this could be the way to do it. I could see people wanting to do it this way because it creates, I must admit, it is a slightly smoother experience as well. Now, what you could also do, although I wouldn't really recommend it, is if you go back into your Steam Performance Overlay or Steam Performance Menu, you could lock your FPS to 30. Uh, oh, sorry. There you go. Lock that to 30. So you get a more consistent frame rate. Although I wouldn't really, I wouldn't bother because it doesn't make the game look any better. And I would personally just keep that frame rate limit at 60 or even just disable it because you're not going to hit 60 anyway. Now we have got a raid coming in. So we are about to see lots of things going on. Hopefully the screen at any one time. I have got damaged absolutely everything because why not if i pause this game does it pause the game i don't think it does okay so in combat now now that there are things going on the screen we have dipped down to the 30s as you can see here with all the textures and the flashes and all the effects and all the all the things going on the screen we have dipped right down which isn't, uh, which isn't too bad, I suppose. If we were back on the older graphics settings, then I could see that being a bit of a problem. And we're at the low 30s again. I know it is night time, but, uh, but yeah, I just think that there's, there's two settings for you there. If you want the higher resolution, which I would personally recommend, you're not getting a huge gain in performance turning on FSR. I mean, I've got FSR switched on at the moment. Um, and then the um, um, scaling to stretch. You know, getting a massive gain in performance, it's still completely playable at the higher resolution. So again, it's, it's really down to personal preference on how you would like to play this game. But there are two options for you. Make of that, make that, make of that as you will. And uh, yeah, either or. I think is a it creates a playable experience thank you very much for checking out this video of power world on the steam deck if you did enjoy this video please hit that like button subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos and if you have any questions let us know in the comments down below if you want to check out any of our other steam deck videos there is a playlist for that as i say thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video